in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A crown of thorns placed on his head. He knew that he would soon be dead. He said, "Did you forget me, Father? Did you?" They nailed him to a wooden cross. Soon all the world would feel the loss of Christ the King. For our good night message on this Wednesday, the third of April, twenty twenty-four. Broadcasting from the retreat house in Messina, southern Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a selection of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging and strengthening message in line with the gospel passage of today entitled, Are Not Our Hearts Burning Within Us? He hung his head and prepared to die. Then lifted his face up to the sky Said, I am coming home now, Father, to you As we journey through the Easter season in this Easter octave, let us reflect on the powerful message of hope and renewal found in the story of the two disciples on the road to Emmaus that we read today. In Luke chapter 24, verse 13 to 35, we see these disciples walking with heavy hearts, mourning the death of Jesus. But as they encounter the risen Christ along the way, their hearts are set ablaze with a new sense of purpose and faith. Like these disciples, we may find ourselves feeling lost or discouraged at times. We may face challenges that seem insurmountable and doubts that threaten our belief in God's promises. But just as Jesus walked alongside those two travelers, he walks beside us in every step of our journey, offering comfort, guidance, and unwavering love. When we feel overwhelmed by doubt or fear, let us remember the words of the disciples. Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road? Luke chapter 24 verse 32. Our hearts are meant to be set ablaze with passion for God's kingdom and his purposes for our lives. Let us fan into flame this burning desire to follow him wholeheartedly and trust in his plans for us. Easter is a time of new beginnings and fresh starts. Just as Jesus rose from the grave, conquering sin and death once and for all, we too can experience resurrection power in our own lives. No situation is beyond redemption, no brokenness beyond healing. Through Christ's sacrifice on the cross, we are offered forgiveness, restoration, and eternal life. Let us embrace this season as an opportunity to renew our commitment to Christ and deepen our relationship with Him. Let us open our hearts to His transforming love and allow Him to work miracles in our midst. Even when circumstances seem bleak or uncertain, we can have confidence that God is always at work behind the scenes, orchestrating blessings beyond our wildest imagination. May this Easter be a time of spiritual awakening and revival for each one of us. Let us draw near to God with humble hearts and expectant spirits, ready to receive his abundant grace and mercy. As we meditate on the miraculous events of Jesus' resurrection, may we be filled with renewed hope and strength to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Just as those disciples' eyes were opened to recognize Jesus in their midst, may our eyes be opened to see his presence all around us, in nature's beauty, acts of kindness from others, in moments of quiet reflection like the one I'm having here in the retreat. Let us be attuned to his voice, speaking words of peace and assurance of our lives. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Alleluia. slain with oil and spice anointing